Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the differences of ChatGPT versus Jasper.ai. In case you're not familiar with either of these tools, both of them are AI related. And in my opinion, there's going to be a few big differences when it comes to explaining the differences of both of these tools. First and foremost, there is a section right here that I came across on Jasper where it says, how is Jasper chat different from uh, chat GPT? If you click on the link here, it expands a little bit more. I thought this was a good excerpt and it's, it's pretty much going to be in line with what I thought after using a little bit of chat GPT and of course using a lot of Jasper. I'll read through the first bit on top and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. It says like chat GPT, Jasper chat is a new, more conversational way of interacting with generative AI in Jasper. Instead of having to think in commands or strict prompts, you can converse with AI and refine responses with each engagement. OpenAI is a partner of Jasper's and GPT 3.5 is one of the language models we use in our platform. Jasper Chat is different than Chat GPT in that it is built for business use cases like marketing, sales, and more. Okay, that's going to be the one of the biggest differences in my opinion that after going through both of them is that if you have a product, if you're looking to market, if you're looking to sell anything, even do like articles for a blog post, I'd say Jasper is going to be uh, much better in that way. It says, but both interfaces offer a way to make AI much more accessible to the audiences they serve, okay? And I say that also, especially for the fact that there's tons of templates that uh, come along with Jasper that are just marketing or business related. For example, like the AIDA formula, if we're gonna go into templates, uh, the framework like here, I'm gonna open up this up and then we'll uh, kind of compare it in chat. So in here, I just have Jasper.ai and then I said, Jasper is the AI content platform that helps you and your team break through creative blocks to create amazing original content 10 times faster. Faster. If I go over here, there's not exactly templates, but I could probably say something like use the AIDA formula to, you know, market jasper.ai software. I've tested this before and I don't believe it can do it yet. Like it's still in the early phases, but let's click on the run. Okay. And overall, it's not that bad. I didn't get exactly what I was looking for, but it, it kind of gave me uh, what the sentence actually states. So it talks about using the AIDA formula. And it talks about specifically in the attention, interest, desire, and action steps, like how you could use them to actually promote Jasper. However, say if I go over here, I click on the generate button, it's actually going to use the AIDA framework, you know, feeling creatively blocked, so on and so forth, and actually give me that formula there. Okay, so I think like we talked about before, when it comes to using marketing and business types of techniques and templates, Jasper would be better for that actual aspect. Let's go back over here and do a new chat. And let me give you some examples of things you can do. And just randomly off the top of my head, what are the benefits of learning a skill earlier in your life? Pretty generic, this could be about anything, but let's see what ChatGPT has to offer here. All right, so here we are. What are the benefits of learning a skill earlier in your life? And the content's pretty good. Like I said, this is something generic. I think this is where OpenAI is going to shine, especially when it comes to the differences between both of these. OpenAI at the time of creating this video is simply free to use. I will put a link down below. Uh, Jasper, on the other hand, is going to come with a free trial, you know, with uh, plenty of bonus words to use. And of course, it's going to be a paid software. If, if you've seen plenty of my videos, you'll know more about that. Even despite the fact chat GPT is going to be free compared to it, I'm still going to keep using Jasper. I think it's just too powerful, especially when it comes to the main benefits like I talked about, whether it's business, marketing, products, articles, blog posts, stuff like that. That's anything related to online marketing. Uh, going back over here, I kept this open so you can read it. Let's just say we're going over to Jasper chat. They do have a chat section as well. I'm going to put the same thing in here and we can kind of compare what we get. Learning a skill when you are younger can provide lasting benefits throughout life. It can provide an early opportunity to build confidence and resilience as well as help you develop goals and a sense of purpose. It can also teach important life skills like problem solving, critical thinking, and creativity. Additionally, learning a skill early on can give you an edge in the job market and provide the opportunity for creative expression. As always, find content there. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty good. And of course, we talked about how you can do articles and essays. I've done so many uh, videos when it comes to doing long form articles and boss mode and templates. So uh, feel free to check out my playlist when it comes to Jasper. But that's also going to be a very big difference where you can just pretty much keep telling Jasper what to write. Write an introduction about when it comes to, you know, learning how to start an online business. Talk about the pitfalls and the challenges of starting an online business. Write more content that way. And of course, expanding it on, which is something I've done many times before, but I just want to quickly wrap it up when it comes to the differences between these two AI softwares. On one hand, we're going to have 
chat GPT, which is a little bit newer. Great for any type of generic use, whether you want to ask it some questions, see what it produces as results. Of course, the results could be a little bit more fine tuned. It's still in beta, but it's still pretty good for what it has to offer, especially for the fact that you can try it out for free. The link will be down below. Then on the other hand, we have Jasper, you know, create amazing, any type of web content, <laughs> love letters. I like how it says that, but anything business in marketing and, uh, I was going to say online business, that's the same thing. Advertising, you know, Facebook ads, emails, anything that's business related. I think it's going to have the, uh, upper hand here, especially with so many ways of creating use cases through their templates. It could be through their chat feature. It could be through their document editor, whatever it's going to be. And of course they do come with a free trial and many bonus words. I will leave my link down below. So that about concludes it when it comes to the comparison of Jasper.ai versus chat GPT. I hope that explains a little bit better for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and that about does it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.